Hi, my name is Julianne Wood, and I'm the author of More Than a Lemonade Stand and creator of the Bizeps Game, and today is Mini Lesson Monday. So today on Mini Lesson Monday, we are going to talk about how much does it cost to start and get your business going. So last week, we talked about getting your business name and a tagline, so hopefully you have that all settled in. If you didn't, you can write some comments down below this video, and I will give you some feedback on it and how to get past that little hurdle. But today we're going to talk about how much it costs. So the first thing we want to talk about is what do you need to start your business? So what kind of items do you need? Do you need a computer? Do you need a website? Do you need a desk? Do you need a phone? So all of those things are things you need to actually run your business. Now some of that you might already have. You might already have a computer. You might already have a desk that you can work at. But those are the things that I want you to list in your entrepreneur notebook under startup items. So we're going to call those startup items. Then what I want you to do is if you already have them, you don't need to look up the costs. But if you need to buy some things, you need to look up those costs and figure out how much it will cost for you to get started. So those are startup costs. So in your entrepreneur notebook again, you're going to list your items and then anything you have to buy, you're going to list the cost. You can Google it, you can ask your parents, you can go to the store. So there's lots of options of finding that out. Then the second thing that you need to think about is what do you need to make your product or service? So if you're making a product, let's say you're making jewelry, how much does it cost to make a bracelet? What kind of things do you need to buy to make those bracelets? Those are called raw materials. When you sell those things, they're called cost of goods sold. But when you buy them to make something, they're called raw materials. So you need to make a list of what goes into the product. So if you're making brownies, you need to have a rec you know, recipe and then all the ingredients. If you're mowing lawns, your mower would be a startup cost or a startup item. And your gas would be what you need to actually mow the lawn. Now one thing you want to remember is your time. Your time is valuable. So you want to include the time that it's going to take for you to provide, uh, for you to make your product or for you to uh, provide the service. So how long does it take to mow a lawn? How long does it take to make a bracelet? That you need to know. So that is also in the, it's called uh, direct labor, but you need to know that. So you need to know how much goes into that product. The third thing that we talk about for costs are fixed costs. Fixed costs are also what we call overhead. And they are things like rent, your phone bill, uh, your light bill, anything that you have to pay over and over. It might be advertising, might be website hosting. That would be a common one that would be for your type of business. So you need to look at that and then also write down a column for fixed costs in your entrepreneur notebook. So that way you'll have an idea of how much it's going to cost for you to start and run your business and then how much you need to sell to cover that. And we're going to talk about pricing your product or service next week. But this week, let's get the homework done for the cost. So I'll see you next week on Mini Lesson Monday.